when expressing feelings for a loved one, songs are the best way to say what we can't put into words. And if Hollywood movies have taught us anything, it's that the perfect love song will get you the girl. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. I'll miss you, kiss you, give you my coat when you are cold. You've lost that love and feeling. I wanted to dive a little deeper into this topic and find out what the greatest love song ever written is, so I turned to the experts, Lethbridge Radio DJs. The greatest love song of all time would probably be New Kids on the Block, uh, I Won't Forget You Girl, is that what it's called? Please Don't Go Girl, oh, I believe go. is the... <laughs> Lifehouse everything. It's kind of a longer song, but I always thought, oh, if I ever have a first dance at a wedding, uh, that's the song that I would pick. When a Man Loves a Woman by Percy Sledge. Oh, that's it's been in just about every romantic movie known to man. Kiss Beth. It's a song about a guy in a band who wants to be with his girlfriend, but he also loves his band and being around them so much that that's where he stays. It comes down to three. Um, Take My Breath Away from Top Gun. Uh, oh, oh, uh, Dirty Dancing. Uh, time of my life. Oh, that That's is a good one so too. good, right? Yeah, yeah. And then classic Elvis. I can't help but fall. I can't help falling in love with you. Elvis's. I can't help falling in love with you. I love that song. There's so many different versions of it, and it's the cutest love song ever. In your opinion, the greatest love song ever. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. You know, <laughs> most other brothers can't deny that when a girl walks in <laughs> with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in her face, you get sprung. So, what are you going to do? <laughs> One of my all-time favorite songs, obviously, is a country song by my favorite artist, George Strait, I Crossed My Heart. I don't care what anybody else around here has told you, the greatest love song of all time is Paul McCartney with Maybe I'm Amazed, hands down. It's a toss-up between Paul Anka's She's Having My Baby and LL Cool J's Doing It. This love song ever written, Don't Cry by Guns N' Roses, because it made girls fall into my arms. I think I'm gonna have to side with the ladies on their love song choices. Now, while we were chatting with them in the studio, we also couldn't help but ask about their Valentine's Day plans, as well as the best or worst gift they've ever received on Valentine's Day. What song best describes your upcoming Valentine's Day plans? Uh, Toby Keith. Um... I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. Just kidding, Mrs. Brooksy. Either girls just want to have fun or rock and roll all night. I'll be swinging single, so anti-Valentine's Day, here I come once again. I don't know if I have one. My fiance, she's a big country fan, so I'm sure she's got a whole bunch involving me driving her around in a pickup truck. <laughs> Sister Christian, oh, the time has come that... I forget. <laughs> Just go with loser by the <laughs> Exactly. I don't think it's been written. As I, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe there's a maybe there's a song out there about napping. Please leave me alone. I want to take a nap. We'll go out for dinner later on. I just want a nap. Is that a song? Um all by myself. <laughs> Best or worst Valentine's gift you've ever given? Um, well, that, that, that's debatable because I always think my Valentine's Day gifts are wonderful. I've always <laughs> made the point of telling my significant other before Valentine's Day, I don't like giving out flowers. A bouquet of um, green roses one year because green's my favorite color. And so, yeah, he somehow found green roses and I got a bouquet of them. They're more expensive. It's better to just do it randomly throughout the year. And they always agree. Mm -hmm. And then when the Valentine's Day comes around and they don't get flowers, they're usually disappointed in me a little bit. And I told him that my favorite flower was a tulip. And so comes Valentine's Day and he hands me this pot full of dirt. And he said that he was going to get me roses, but ran around to every flower shop in Lathbridge looking for for tulips, but they don't bloom in February, so he potted some for me and they should bloom like in a couple of weeks. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> so I think I should do a better job of that and maybe get my fiance flowers this time around. Best Valentine's Day gift I've ever received was a, a cool earring when I had my ears pierced. We set a $10 cap. You could only spend 10 bucks <laughs> and whatever you bought, 
it had to be handmade. I built a little flower uh, box, a little flower bed, and I put three cactuses in it. Cacti, whatever. <laughs> what I got was a little, what are they, sock monkey? And uh, that sock monkey sits beside me on the couch each and every night, and it's a healthy reminder of uh, who I married. That's a great answer. He didn't marry a sock monkey, if that's what you're wondering. He did not make that plant box. He got the eye at home. Hey, he hey, hey, he you're, in my, you're in my shot. You can edit that too, right? <laughs> Best Valentine's gift you've ever received. Oh, I, th I ran out of lyrics. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs>